This journey began with a challenge. To run just under 200 miles from Santa Clara, Cuba, back to Havana. But after two mornings running, a new adventure was born. Still crossing the country, although not solely on foot, we're on a mission to discover a lesser-known Cuba. Curiosity and wonder lead us through many of the island's smaller cities and into some unexpected moments. For an evening stroll in the incredibly charming city of Matanzas, my friend Kara and I, well, we peek through a window into what appears to be a working art studio and get busted by eyes staring back at us. No, not Chase. It's the owner of this studio, Adrian Socorro, who catches us looking. Adrian invites us to come in and take a look around. Chatting with Adrian, I'm reminded. People at their core can be so similar wherever we go. The location might be different, but when it comes down to it, we do very much the same things. We go to school. We work. We raise families. And when possible, we play. And try to enjoy ourselves just a bit. Some places are much more difficult to live in over others. But no matter where, if you look hard enough, there's always someone pushing the boundaries simply by listening to that call within. Back at our hotel, I turn on the TV to check in with the world. It's impossible not to witness a battle still raging over Cuba. With American-backed media and culture inevitably seeping into the country, Telesur broadcasts as a contrast. A network funded by the Venezuelan, Cuban and Nicaraguan governments Documentaries and news clips are shown depicting the leftist governments positively, with the capitalistic American system of democracy less so. I wake up another year older. Good morning. It's my birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. Look what I got! Uh-huh. All the way from LA. <laughs> Cause health and fitness, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Today I've decided to pack as much adventure into one day as possible. An adventure within the larger adventure. We tour the El Morillo Castle, sitting at the mouth of the Canimar River, looking out across Matanzas Bay. A small fort built in 1720 to protect the area against the threat of pirate attacks. 
we make a new friend in one of the two ladies who now run and caretake the property. Just across the way, we visit Rio Canimar Park. Here we go. Here, we rent a speedboat and journey up the river. Protected parkland situated between two large hills. We scout what's often considered some of the most pristine wildlife in the entire Caribbean. Mangroves, cliffs with sprawling vegetation, wetlands and regal palm trees. It's an unexpected joy connecting with nature. It's a good day to get out for a run. Let's go. All right, so we're back at it. Two miles down. Whew. It is hot and humid. Here we go. So as I'm running and I'm looking ahead, the only shade is the shade of the clouds that pass by. And I look up and I look up and I never quite seem to get to the cloud, the shadow, before it moves on. Finally got one. It feels good. Six miles later, I arrive at the Cueva de Saderna, where Kara and Yadir are already waiting. Did a run. A little over 10K, we ended up here. Some cenotes slash caves. Formed over centuries, freshwater erosion through the island's limestone rock surface creates these magical geographical features. What a perfect place to refresh and explore after a run. This birthday ends much like it began, looking ahead with hopes and dreams. A celebration of life, of nature, of new experiences, all while moving forward into the unknown. What is your ultimate birthday trip? Where would you go? What adventure would you jump into? How might it be different than the place that you call home? These are just a couple of the questions that I would love to hear your answers to. Feel free to reach out and leave a comment. If you've been following along during this Cuba series, thank you. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing by tapping that button down below and hitting the bell for notifications. This way, when I post the next video, you won't miss it. Maybe. Maybe you can even give this video a like. It's your support that helps make this channel happen. Thank you. If you haven't seen how this Cuba journey started, go ahead and watch this video right here. It'll get you caught up to date. Until next time, let's keep finding joy in each and every day. Let's keep striving to reach our greatest potentials. And of course, let's keep exploring the luxury of adventure.